Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We are finally going to be reviewing the Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette, the Textured Neutrals Volume 1. I am so excited. Firstly, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Tati. I have been like pretty much since she even started her channel years and years and years and years, and years ago. So it really was just like such an honor for me to even be able to purchase this and now review it. Like it's just like oh, really, really exciting. But secondly, this palette looked so beautiful online and it's actually a different concept to majority of palettes that are out there at the minute. Um, so yeah, really, really excited to dive into this review. So we are going to be doing swatches of all of the colors in the palette and then I'm going to be showing you a demonstration. We're gonna create a look using the palette and and then finally, I will give you my thoughts on whether or not I actually think it was worth the money. Now, I was up at 4 a.m. Australian time on Tati's website to shop for this bad boy when it first launched. Um, 10 a.m. in like LA equals 4 a.m. here in Australia. So it was a time I mean, and it was totally worth it. Early morning, but totally worth it. And I actually managed to snag two eyeshadow palettes. So today's video is also going to include a giveaway. So if you miss out on this palette when it's sold out and you are still wanting one, you will have the opportunity in today's video to enter the giveaway. And I will ship this anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter where you are. And I'll probably throw in a bunch of other makeup as well. Let's be honest, I've got more than I need more than I need. <laughs> um, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel, ring the notification bell, like this video and leave a comment down below. Um, can be about anything. What color socks you're wearing, what you had for breakfast three days ago. Honestly, anything, just leave a comment down below and then I will randomly pick a winner and I'll probably pick a winner in about a week and then I will get in contact and I will ship this out to you. So that's pretty much it. We're going to jump into the review now. Please, if you are not subscribed already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, ring that stupid bell bell that stupid bell that you now have to ring even though you've already pressed subscribe thank you YouTube it wasn't already complicated enough <laughs> yeah make sure you ring that bell so that you are notified of when my new videos go live and let's jump straight into the video okay firstly packaging wise this is the box that it came in and hello mama she is so her skin is so perfect I am personally victimized by how perfect Tati is <laughs> serious <laughs> She just looks so beautiful and it's such a gorgeous picture. Like she's covered in glitter from the palette. And then this is what the palette looks like when you get it. So it comes in like a little plastic sleeve to keep it protected. And then this is the packaging. Now the first thing that I really, really noticed about this palette is how heavy it is. Like she thick, like this is a really, like it feels really, really good quality. It feels quite luxurious, beautiful soft touch. If you're familiar with my brand, all of our packaging has this same soft touch matte kind of finish. It says Tati Beauty um, embossed in the front, a little bit of info, ingredients and stuff are on the back of the palette. And then you slide it out and this is what the actual eyeshadow palette looks like. It's really pretty. I really, really like this packaging. Like to me, this is super, super classy, uh, you know, monochrome sort of vibes, just really sleek and chic. And I quite like this packaging, but the actual shadows, and this is my first time seeing them. Oh my gosh, because I always really try hard to make sure that I actually open things on camera with you guys. So we kind of get to enjoy it together. I feel nervous. I feel kind of nervous about this. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh my God. I mean, it looked neutral online, but in person, it's actually, it's got so much depth to it. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay, so firstly, big plastic cover um, to guard the shadows. And the mirror on this thing is massive. It's so good to see such a huge mirror. This palette will be so good for traveling for just that. These colors, you guys, oh my goodness. So we have beautiful, like warm tones. We actually have some sort of neutral tones through here and cool tones as well. They're definitely neutrals. And the way that this palette is set up and sort of from what I know from watching Tati's video and stuff, um, each of these rows, and hang on, let me, does it fold back? over it does it folds back over okay so each of these rows down here is like a color story and it has a name so say for example this one here is memory we've got ritual story oh and I've already put my finger in the palette who's surprised not me <laughs> So yes, memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. And basically going down in the row is a color story. So you'll notice that these are all pinks. These are all like creams or like bone shades, soft tans, oranges, browns, and then like blacks and silvers. So basically each of these colors are presented in like a different texture. So firstly across the top, you've got glitter, then metallic, then sequin, and then matte. I really do quite like the concept of this. I feel like it's, you know, there are so many eyeshadow palettes and they're coming out all the time and it's sort of hard to be like, okay, well this eyeshadow palette's different because of X, Y, Z. Like they're all, they're all pretty 
much the same. Um, I really love the concept behind this. And I love, you know, if there's like a particular color family that you are drawn towards, you can create an entire look using only that color family or you can mix and match. You can do a whole matte look. I just think it's like a really versatile way to do a palette. I think it's very, very clever. I think you've done well on this. And honestly, the colors in this look so beautiful. The camera is probably not in any way doing it justice at all. These glitters across the top just look absolutely amazing. This beautiful shade here, this is one of the sequin shades. It's got like this gorgeous blue kind of a glitter through it. Um, honestly, the shades in this look absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's pretty much an overview of what the palette looks like, kind of what comes in it. Uh, obviously 24 shades in this one. I will have the link, and I mean it's sold out at the minute, but I'm sure that they'll be restocking soon. I'll have the link in the description bar down below um, to purchase this one. But what we're going to do now is jump into swatches of all of the individual shades and color stories in this palette. I'm so excited to get my fingers into it. You have no idea. And then we're going to test the shadows on my eyes, create a look with them, see what the formula's like, see how they, you know, blend, how they go playing on the eyes, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Right, so the first color story that we have in this palette is Memory. Memory is a mixture of, well, obviously, you know, we've got the glitter, the metallic, the sequin, and the matte, but Memory is a mixture of, like, blacks that work up to silver with the glitter. Whole heap of pigment to it. It's just gorgeous. And then moving on to Ritual. Ritual is sort of like, you know, neutral toned browns. The glitter for this one's like a medium brown with, like, some beautiful copper highlights through it. A shimmery, bronzy kind of a color. A tan with a very, very slight shimmer and then that matte brown. Moving on to Story. Story is the warm tone column of the palette. Our beautiful peaches at the top, a peachy kind of a glitter, a peachy shimmer, and then two beautiful rich orangey type shades for blending through the crease and things like that. Sue, these very soft sort of flattering type browns and would be perfect, you know, through the crease or if you're just going for a very, very soft look. And I do quite like the glitter in this column. It's got like little reflex of sort of silver through it. It's just gorgeous. Very, very pretty, very flattering colors. Aura is the next one. Aura is like sort of light beige sort of bone kinds of colors. The Aura glitter is just stunning. It's got reflex of green, of purple, of blue. It's very multi-dimensional. It's very, very pretty. And we have a shimmery champagne. Great for highlighting the brow bone. The next shade down, the sequin one. This is like a bone kind of a color, but then it's got little reflex of shimmer that are pink and gold. And then finally the matte bone color. And then lastly, Poet, the pinky sort of burgundy kind of column. A beautiful soft pink glitter. A shimmery kind of burgundy burgundy, this beautiful, it's like a matte deep burgundy with like gorgeous bluey kind of purple glitter through it. And then lastly, a matte burgundy wine kind of a color. Honestly, all stunning and really truly the formula feels beautiful on my fingers. So those were all of the swatches, honestly, and don't mind me, I'm just priming my eyes. The formula of this, oh my gosh. So the glitters were so, so sticky. You know how a lot of pressed glitters, you kind of like swatch them and you don't run in, hello, Huda. <laughs> you don't really get too much payoff and they kind of just go everywhere. This formula is very, very different. It's like a very sticky, tacky kind of glitter. The shimmers are really, really buttery. They've got so much pigmentation. The sequins are beautiful. They're like a matte shadow, but with like a tiny, very finely milled glitter through them. And then the mattes are very creamy to swatch as well. Now, obviously, and I tell you guys this all the time in my videos, a finger swatch is not in any way an indication of how a shadow will actually perform on the eyes. So we're gonna move on to actually doing a demonstration and like playing with some of these colors. I am truly like, they're all so pretty I can't even choose. I feel like maybe we should create a look. Do we want to do one color story or do we want to mix a few? All right, so we're going to jump into using this palette now, the exciting part. All right, so shall we set down, shall we set down the eye primer or shall we, shall we go hard? What do you guys think? I'm very, very much drawn towards this column here, these beautiful browns. I love like a real, like sort of classic brown, smoky, just, it looks good on everybody. So maybe that's the best way to go about it, but we'll work in some of the other colors as well. I'm not going to um, set down the primer because I wanna see really how these shadows do perform. I'm going to take this shade here, the matte shade called, oh, look at that payoff. Look at that, honestly. I'm gonna pick that one up on my brush and I'm gonna start working that through the crease. Honestly, so excited when she announced this. I already do buy Halo. I use Kiwi and I use the multivitamins. I don't use the original Halo because I'm a bit paranoid about the whole birth control thing. Um, I just, I don't want to take any risks, you know. <laughs> but um, I do love them and I definitely notice a difference when taking the Kiwi, the Halo Kiwi. Like my skin, it just looks so much healthier. I've been a little bit slack lately taking them. I need to get back into it, but um, yeah, it truly works so well. And this shadow is blending. 
like an absolute dream. That was seriously so, so easy. I'm going to take a seat on this side as well. Now, clearly you guys know me. Any eyeshadow palette with glitter, I'm like, hello, how you doing? <laughs> we'll be curious to know how these glitters last over time. Um, a lot of glitter eyeshadow palettes I'd already have, like, for example, again, and I hate to use this example always, but the Huda Beauty palettes that I have, the tech, is it the rose gold? The rose gold. I bought the second version of it and the new nudes one, they've got glitters in them, but they've definitely dried out. Like they're definitely, and I already wasn't overly phased by the formulation of them, but they've definitely dried out. These mattes are so soft and velvety. That honestly has blended out really, really well. I'm not noticing any patching. I'm not getting like heaps of fallout. Really beautiful matte brown. And honestly, I could chuck on a bit of mascara and call this an eye look all on its own. It's a really nice color. I'm not gonna touch the pink row because you guys always are like, Nikia, stop doing pink looks. So we're not gonna we're not gonna go here. But I think I might go in with this shade here next. So this is from the Color Story Ritual. Um, and it's a sequin shade, but basically it's a matte with a tiny little bit of glitter through it. That's what it looks like on the brush. I think this one would be really good to deepen the crease. And a lot of the time, and I've spoken to you guys about this before, a lot of the time shadows like this that have like a matte base, but then with like tiny little glitter particles, quite often they're a lot easier to blend than a straight matte shadow because those little particles, they nearly act like a gritty texture and they help blend the shadow further. Uh, so yeah, maybe that's why, you know, maybe that's why it's been included. See here, like even blending it, it doesn't, you can't really see any shimmer. These ones are going to be more like a pack on kind of a shadow if you really want to get that glitter to come through. But this shade, again, is blending out absolutely seamlessly, like truly no complaints. Oh, tarty. I mean, nobody's surprised that this is good quality, right? It's Tati. Like she's a good quality human. <laughs> I wouldn't expect any less from her, honestly. So blending this into the outer crease, I'm sort of still using like a larger sized brush, just kind of fluffing it through and smoking up that area. Shall we do? I mean, there's so many options with this palette. I feel like we're gonna need to do several looks with this palette. I think I wanna use this beautiful bronze shimmer. It's too pretty not to. What I have noticed with that shade too, is even though it's like a darker, kind of a brown and you do get like a reasonable amount of kickback in the actual palette, um, there's no fallout. I have not got fallout underneath my eyes. Gosh, I love these two colors just on their own. I nearly, I mean, I'm gonna put a lot more on but I could so totally just call this an entire look. It's so pretty. I'm going to take Aura and I'm gonna take the metallic shade, the shimmer, yeah, the metallic shade out of this and I'm gonna use it to highlight my brow bones. Now I do have textured eyelids, but that is actually a very, very finely milled shimmer. It's very soft. It's not sort of like too, a lot of shimmers, like champagne shimmers that are intended to be used as highlights are quite chunky. And they do tend to emphasize the texture up there for me, but that's actually really soft and smooth. And pretty. Very buttery and loads of payoff as well. Like, is there gonna be anything negative about this palette? I don't. At this point, I'm struggling to find something. Shipping time was long. I'll say that. It took a very, very, very long time. This launched maybe nearly a month ago and I'm only just getting it now. As soon as it came in the mail though, I was so excited. I was like, Brandon, Tarty Beauty's here. <laughs> I'm going to dip into the deepest matte shade of the Ritual Story now. And we're going to pack that right into the outer corner of my eyes. And we'll see if we lose any of this pigmentation when blending. Because that's one thing that I do find with a lot of matte deep shadows. And I mean, it's not, it's fairly well known, fairly common problem, but um, you sort of apply them. And then if they just blend away really, really quickly, I find during the day they become patchy on the lid. Like it's sort of like the color disappears during the day. I feel like based on how they're applying, I'm potentially, I'm not going to have that problem. So fingers crossed. And still surprisingly, very, very, very little fallout. I'm not, you know, fallout isn't a deal breaker for me. I know that it does irritate a lot of people, so I always try to comment on it. But there's truly very little fallout, especially for a matte dark brown. I should be getting some fallout underneath my eye, and I really, there's none. And then going back into that smaller brush, I'm going to sort of gently blend the edges. Wow. That literally blends itself out. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Tati, what is in this. I think this palette would be beautiful for a bride. I did say that about the Carly Bible eyeshadow palette too and I still stand by that. Like I look at this and I see bride. Like it's just gorgeous. I'm going to be doing my own makeup for my wedding. Yep. 
I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to obviously have someone else do like the bridesmaids and stuff, but I'm doing my own makeup. I've had my makeup done by other people so many times and I just never like it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just weird like that. <laughs> I want to feel like me too. Like I don't want to feel like I look like somebody else. All right, I think I'm going to go into story. It's this beautiful orangey shimmer. Um, I want to put... <gasps> Wow, that's gorgeous. And it's actually have like a lot of payout. I sort of expected it to be way more muted, but it's really like bang, like it's there. And for something that, you know, does look so shimmery, there's actually not like too much sort of texture to it. They're very soft. Very, very, very nice. So the best part ever, glitter. Let's try some of the glitter. I'm going to go into the Ritual Glitter, the beautiful brown. You don't often see brown glitters. Um, it's like not, it's just, it just doesn't seem to be done that much. Look at this. Look at this. There are truly no words. It's just so magnificent and I'm going to pop that sort of like right in the center of my eye. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so nice. It's really sort of packing it on. Maybe I'll just keep that beautiful coral color right in the inner corner. Yes. Oh. The glitter sticks very well. It adhered very well to my lid. There is a little bit of fallout, but nothing too dramatic. Um, usually when I use press glitters like this, they just end up everywhere. But like I said earlier, like and even when swatching, the formula of these is so sticky. And it really does feel like it'll last well. I will actually be wearing this makeup um, probably maybe seven-ish hours. Um, I will update you guys in the comments. I'll pin a comment at the top of the comment section or I might put it in the description bar. I'll let you know if this glitter like melted off my face during the day. It's pretty warm weather here today too. Pretty warm. All right, let's quickly do the lower lash line and then I will finish the rest of my makeup. So going in with Soothe, the color that we started with originally, I'm going to smudge that one through the lower lash line again. Smudging this down pretty low because I obviously will go in with concealer afterwards. So I just wanna see how they go blending through the lower lash line. And do they cause my eyes to sting? A lot of shadows when I blend them underneath my lower lash line. I'm like, ow, this is the most painful thing ever because as the dust, I've got sensitive eyes, okay? But as like the, the powder dust sort of goes up into my eyes, they do get stingy. This one is not irritating at all. And then taking a little of that brown, smudge it through the lower lash line. Just can't get over that glitter though, it's insane. All right, cool. Well, that is how things are looking. I'm going to um, jump off camera and quickly finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. All right, so I'm back and I have the rest of my makeup on and I am not gonna lie, you guys, this may very possibly be one of my favorite eyeshadow looks ever. I cannot stop staring at it. Like it's enough to be different. Like it's still obviously very neutral, sort of soft-ish, but then it's also got like this beautiful bronze shimmer. And as I move in the light, I can see little reflections of like pink, orange, gold. There's nearly like a little bit of a silver in there. This glitter is seriously one of the prettiest glitters ever. Like Tati, whatever you have done here, it is good. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory so far, guys. Um, from what I have seen of this palette, from what I have used, the swatches, the application, the way things blend, the way things apply, I really, really, really like this. Again, I am in no way surprised. You know, Tati, like you just would not expect any less from her. Like. You really, really wouldn't. She's such an incredible person. She makes incredible content. I'm sure that you all know who she is. Well, you must be if you're watching this video, hey. <laughs> the packaging is so nice. Like I said, really heavy. It feels luxurious. It feels like really, really good quality. Doesn't feel cheap, doesn't feel tacky. Um, I love the soft touch matte. Obviously it will get dirty. That is definitely something to bear in mind. You know, packaging like this does get quite, you know, think of like the NARS packaging and things like that does get grubby, but I mean, get a damp cloth, wipe it off. It's not really so much the end of the world, um, but yeah, something to consider. I love how big the mirror is. It's got a really, really amazing sized mirror. So good for traveling, like seriously awesome. And like I said earlier, I just love the way that this palette is set out and the whole concept behind it about there being different textures in each of the color stories. I love all of the shades. I look at this and I feel very inspired. I don't look at this
this and think, okay, well, I could create maybe three looks that would be like my go-to. I feel like I could create so many different combinations of colors and textures and stuff. And that's obviously the idea behind it. Textured neutrals. I know that there probably were people that were like, oh, well, I've already got a neutral palette and, you know, this and that. Um, yeah, so do I. I pretty much have every neutral palette out there. But I feel like this easily trumps the majority of them. I do love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I use that so much. Uh, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, I love that so much and use that so much as well. But truly, very, very, very easily, this could be an everyday palette um, for work, for school, for whatever you've got going on. And then you've also got the addition of those beautiful glitters if you want to amp things up for nighttime or for a special event or something. Um, truly, I am so impressed so far. They blended seamlessly. I tried each of the formulas. So the glitter, the metallic, the sequin and the matte formula did not have any issues with any of the shadows that I tried um and it's just honestly I feel like it looks so so pretty with that like little peep of like coral in the inner corner Tati you have done an incredible job on this palette definitely any of you out there if you ask you know you've been on the fence about whether or not to pick this one up I definitely recommend it's really good value for money and you're going to get a lot of use out of it obviously obviously again if you've got 10,000 neutral palettes and you don't need another one you don't have to buy it, guys. It's not life or death. Um, but yeah, if you're after a neutral palette, 100%. And the glitter formula in this, so, so sticky. Like I said, I'm going to be wearing this for the rest of the day. And, you know, I'll update you on whether or not I end up with glitter over my entire existence. I'm hoping. So far, so good. Have not had any fallout yet. Um, it's really, it's it's definitely stayed in place. So yeah, really, really so excited about this palette. Congratulations to Tati. You know, you've done an incredible job. Um, and I cannot wait to see what she comes out with next. Like truly, I'm, I'm going to be there at 4 a.m. on the website, buying everything again. <laughs> so those are my thoughts on the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1. I feel like there was a little rumor going around that there were going to be like 30 volumes. I'm excited. I want all of them. <laughs> But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for being patient. I'm sorry that it took me so long to do it. I filmed it as soon as it arrived in the mail. So I got it up as quick as I possibly can for you guys. But if you've got any more questions about the palette or anything else whatsoever, please pop them in the comments down below and let me know, do you want to see more tutorials and more looks uh, using that palette? Like, I feel like we got a Christmassy look happening up in here in this dark row. Like something really cool for the holidays but yeah let me know what you want to see in the comments i hope you're having an amazing day i love you guys heaps and i will catch you all in my next video